गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स आई होप दैट यू हैव स्टडी द चैप्टर एंड यू हैव अंडरस्टूड द चैप्टर नाउ टूडे वी विल परफॉर्म सम एक्टिविटीज रिलेटेड टू द चैप्टर सो योर फर्स्ट एक्टिविटी इज टू शो दैट एयर इज नेसेसरी फॉर कम्बशन सो वॉट यू हैव टू डू इज दैट यू हैव टू राइट दिस एक्टिविटी इन योर नोटबुक और इन ए फोर शीट ओके so in this activity the materials required are candle glass matchstick okay these three materials are required and after performing the activity you have to complete these three topics that is method you have to complete yourself observation what did you observed and then the result okay so this will uh, you have to complete so let's perform the activity so children let's perform the activity first activity and in this we will understand that air is necessary for combustion so you can see children in this room this time air is there okay so let me lit the candle so here you can see it is burning why it is burning because it is getting sufficient supply of oxygen or air this time okay now if i do uh, do in such a way so that this uh, oxygen or air is not available to the candle it will first if it will start flickering and then it will stop burning so let's uh, see so here we can do one thing that we can put these two blocks So till now it is getting sufficient air, so it is burning completely. Now we will take a glass and we will slowly put it there. And you will see that when we put there, first this candle will start to flicker. Flicker means the oxygen is getting less. And then one time will come that when all the oxygen gas or the air uh, means air means oxygen. because in air most of the substance is oxygen and oxygen is necessary for combustion so when we will put it here then this candle will extinguish so let's see so this time you can you have seen that candle is burning now let's see what happens so you see in the starting first few seconds it will burn and now you see it started flickering you can see it started flickering can you see the flickering and then when it extinguishes so you can see now it is not getting sufficient supply of oxygen so that's why it extinguishes are you understanding so what happened in this activity in the starting when it it was getting sufficient supply of oxygen it was burning but when i brought the glass over it and it is not getting sufficient supply of oxygen or air that's why it extinguished so this is the activity and this activity shows that air is necessary for combustion now let's start the second activity and the aim for your second activity is that it is essential for a substance to reach ignition temperature to burn you know what is ignition temperature ignition temperature is the temperature which is minimum temperature which is required for a substance to burn so these two activities we have to do and in this also the it is essential for ignition temperature so same way you will write so this will be the aim of it and then after that you will be writing its materials required so this activity is given in your ncert book and the materials required will be paper Uh, paper cup materials required so in this case the materials required first material is paper cup then second is water then third is candle and match stick and rest three steps like procedure then procedure means method method or procedure are same then observation and the result so you have to just observe the activity and then you have to write the uh, this and then uh, you have to write it in your a4 sheet okay so this you have to complete it and let's perform the activity now 
so children let's perform the second activity and in this activity you can see what you have to do that is it is essential for a substance to reach ignition temperature to burn this we have to show and the materials required for this is paper cup you can see this is a paper cup one and two this is a candle matchbox and water okay now what we have to do is that one by one we have to bring these paper cups here in one paper cup it will be empty so first paper cup we have to take empty paper cup and then we have to just burn over the candle and the other one in in the other paper cup we have to fill water so let's start so first of all let us lift the candle okay and now after this let me show you when the paper this is a simple paper cup okay and this time when we will bring it over the candle it will immediately it will reach the ignition temperature because the ignition temperature of paper is very less so you can see as soon as i will bring it will start burning you can see it started burning okay and then i will take another paper cup and in this i will fill water and now this paper cup is filled with water and, and again we have to burn it so you see as water is there still it is not boiling because this time the ignition temperature of the paper has been increased okay so this way you can see that you can say that if the te ignition temperature if the ignition temperature is high then the substance takes more time to burn so that's why you have seen in the first case the ignition temperature was less so paper immediately it catch the fire while in the second case where the paper water was there so due to the presence of water the temperature decreased the ignition temperature increased and because of that the it could not take fire it will also take fire but after some time okay and even this water which was present inside the uh, paper cup it will start boiling okay so but for this you have to take little bit uh, thicker water cup okay this was very thin so it started burning so you have to take little bit thicker water cup so this way your activities are over and you have to write these two activities in your uh, notebook or you can write it in your a4 sheet and then just mail it to your, uh, your respective science teachers